Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Pulip review for you and this time it's going to be on the premium Bandai exclusive Pulip Sailor Star Fighter. I am super excited to open this doll and I have mentally prepared myself to anything that could go wrong with this doll since she is part of the what I call second season Sailor Moon Pulip line and I just can't wait to open her up. Here we have the box, and as you can see, it has the Pulip logo right here, the 20th anniversary logo. We have a special design for the Sailor Starlights. This time the box coloring is darker, and it has white ribbons around it. You can see the huge display window that shows you the doll and the limited edition outfit. Here is the sticker. And here we have the Sailor Moon logo and Sailor Starlights in English and Japanese. Here is one of the sides. As you can see, it follows the same type of style. And here we have Sailor Starfighter and brooch. And I tell you this is hers because it is red. While Healer is blue and Maker is right here at the bottom with the green color. Here in the back we have the usual warnings and precautions. We have the Pulip logo right there, a sticker actually. And we have the toy animation sticker. Here is the top and here is the bottom. And here is how the limited edition outfit is packed. It is all the way to the left of the box. One of the goodies that come inside of the packaging is her tiara. It is made with the same exact material as the Sailor Senshi tiaras. It is quite flimsy and it looks quite fragile, so I recommend you to be careful with it. Next we have Sage's outfit. This is the limited edition item that comes with this doll. And finally we have her collector card. I think she looks amazing in it. And here is the doll out of the box. And here is how the tiara looks like on her forehead. It's quite hard to put on. And this is how Seiya's outfit looks like.
Let's talk about the face-up. A starfighter came with a very simple face-up and a little bit masculine. Her cheeks have a peachy type of color in blush. Her lips are also a peachy color with two brown lines in the middle and they're also glossy lips. Her eyes are super, super simple. They have this very minimal eyeliner. It is black. It has it at the top right there. And at the bottom, she has a little bit of peachy eyeshadow right there at the top. And, oh my god, I love her eyebrows. They are black and they look quite angry or determined, which is really beautiful. And her eye chips are this dark blue. As always, bullet dolls move their eyes side to side. And you can actually close their eyes as well. And they have a flesh tone color of eyelids. I am back with my thoughts on my Pulip Sailor Star Fighter. I am going to start first showing you the school uniform, which is the premium bandai exclusive item. And then I am going to talk about the Magical Girl outfit. So first, the hair. I was not expecting a lot for this hair, mostly because Seiya has a very weird hairstyle. And well, it, it, does, it is not that great when you put it on a doll. It, I think the haircut is very accurate and it's very accurate. However, I don't think the hairstyle works that well in real life as it works in the anime. This hair is very frizzy. It came in a very bad packaging. It was a manufacturer issue. They packed it and all the hair was just coming up and I had to style it for a while to bring it down. So it made it quite frizzy. This doll is actually has a pretty dry hair because it has all this product like hairspray going on. So it feels quite dry and chunky. Like this section right here is super, super hard. And that's kind of the face up. It is really pretty actually. It looks both very masculine and very feminine, which is great because it kind of matches both outfits really nicely. I think my biggest problem with this face up is like she looks a little bit too yellowish. So it does not have that it has like she's kind of about to throw up type of face up, I don't know. It looks sort of like that, but it's really nice. I am very happy with this outfit and the material is actually very good. I feel like it was made with a lot of care and it was very easy to put on, which is something that I am quite happy about. And there are not strings like coming apart at all and, and anything like that, which is something that usually happens with doll. But this one is actually great. And I love the details. I think the details were really nicely reproduced. The, the pants, this is the only thing that I kind of feel like is a little bit too big. So it looks all these like chunky, kind of like a little bit messy. But it's fine, it's actually a very good quality. These shoes, by the way, like, look at these. These are like the, the flimsiest shoes ever and they quite scare me because I feel like they are going to break. Usually the other shoes that I, I have received that are this exact same shoe are very hard, like super hard, but these ones are super flimsy. So now let's talk about the magical girl outfit. So I had quite the trouble with this outfit I didn't break it, which is perfect, but it is really extremely fragile. So you need to be very careful if you are getting this doll. And I'm going to talk to you about it. So this is the top piece. It is very, as you can see, it is connected by seams right here. As you can see, there is like a black dot right there. It is connected like that. It is super, super fragile, you guys. Be very careful. This one is also very intricate. Like, there are two pieces of Velcro right here at the very ends that you need to attach inside of the pants. And it's really freaking hard and scary. And you feel like you are going to break these two little pieces. However, I feel like the design is perfect. They, did a good job recreating the outfit. Really simple boots. She also comes with her like 
her arm things that are like this, really nice. They attach by Velcro, but you can put them on and take them off very easily without having to remove the Velcro. And she also comes with her checker, which is great. All the outfit for Sailor Starfighter is made in vinyl, so it is very shiny and reflective. Regarding money, so the retail price for the limited edition is around $240-$250. I won her on an auction, new inbox, for $170, which is something that I feel very proud of myself. Do I recommend it? Well, if you have already like four or five bullet dolls, yes, you can totally get it. However, if you're thinking in getting this doll as your first bullet, I kind of recommend you to stay away from it until you have a little bit more experience handling pulip dolls and the outfits. Why? Because that magical girl outfit is beyond fragile and you can break it really, really easily. I am not playing when I'm saying this, I am being very honest, it is super fragile. But this outfit is actually really good and I really, really like it. And I like this doll a little bit better than Mistress 9 because the quality seems to be a little bit higher, just a slightly bit higher. I still have my complaints about this, but I do like her in general. So if you have any kind of question, opinion or concern, please leave them all in the comments below. I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's always really nice and you will be helping me a lot. If you didn't like this video, please give me a thumbs down and tell me why you didn't like it. So please check other videos that I have done in the past and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. So see you in the next one. Bye!